Carl, obviously you announced your retirement on Twitter after that fight. Did you think that that was going to happen before the fight or was it just the result? Um, I, I did kind of have it in my head before the fight, which was probably not the best thing going into the fight. But, um, you know, the, the fight just proved it to me. I'm not as... Uh, I'm just not as fast as I used to be, not as good. Um, I've had a great time in the sport, it's just time to look at something else now. Obviously it didn't end the way you wanted, but you've had a, a, a very long and successful career in, inside the Octagon and MMA in general. How do you see your career? What do you, you know, what's the most thing that you look back on and are most proud of? Um, you know, I'm proud of all of it. Um, I got in there and fight to the best I could every time. Um, I love representing my country every time I got into the cage. So, um, you know, for me, it was just an honour to be on that stage and, and uh, help pave the way for these young kids coming through now. <clears throat> Appreciate the honesty. And you're saying you were considering it even coming into the fight. What, what was weighing into your decision? I mean, obviously tonight was the final straw, but, but what was going through your head ahead of time that you thought this, this might be it? Um, I don't know what it was, you know, I think, um, you know, now I have a daughter and, and, and uh, you know, a family to go home to, it just, it's, it's different now. Um, I mean, the desire is still there, I still love the sport, I still had a blast in there fighting. Um, you know, I just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just, like I said, I'm probably a bit slow now, I'm a bit older, so, um, you know, and I, and I guess I, I kind of knew that coming in, but, uh, yeah, it's, just, it's harder now for me to find the target and hit people. Um, you know, I, I wish he would have stand a bit still for me so I could, I could actually hit him and kick him a bit more. But, uh, you know, like I said, it, it's, it's hard for me now. And, and uh, you know, um, yeah, so I just knew it was time. Do you have any idea of what will come next? I mean, uh, do, you, do you see yourself staying involved in the sport? Uh, what do you think is the next chapter for you? Uh, I'd love to still be involved in the sport in any way possible, you know. Um, like I said, I, I still love the sport. I'm still passionate about it, but um, you know, I just don't think I can hang in there anymore. But uh, you know, if there's any opportunity for me to be involved in the sport, then you know, put me in 100%. I'd love to be. Uh, you mentioned how you thought about retirement sort of before this fight. When you look back on your career, can you pinpoint the moment when you started sort of feeling like? Those reflexes are slowing down a little bit, and it was a little bit harder to keep up with some of the younger guys in the division. Um, it, it's hard. Of, it's hard for me to pinpoint it. Um, you know, uh, I, I, even even that fight I had here in Melbourne, where I got a uh, where I fought Peter Sabata. You know, I, I, I was a lucky. It was a good kick. You know, I meant to do it, but um, you know, it, it was a well-timed kick. But even then, you know, that was kind of going through my mind. I've been fighting for a long time now. Um, you know, I started when, I'm 22, when I was 22 fighting professionally, and now I'm 36. So, you know, I've had a good run in this career. But, um, you know, the, the last couple of losses, uh, I felt like I could have won each, each, each of them fights, you know. Uh, the last three fights, I feel like I could have won them. But, um, you know, I just, the ability for me to win wasn't there, you know. I, I just couldn't, like I said, I couldn't find my timing. I was a bit slower than I should have been, you know. And, uh, yeah, I guess that really, uh, especially after tonight, really solidified it for me. Yeah, you've always um, done a lot for the sport here in Australia, a lot of fans, a lot of support. The things that you've done here will, will always live on. Uh, when you look back on your career, is that some of the stuff that you'll be proud about, sort of flying the flag and being a big star down here for such a long time? Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, I'm very proud of what I've done. Um, you know, when I first started in the UFC, there was hardly any Australians. Um, you know, I had to sell everything I had here in Australia move over to the States just to get an opportunity to fight in the UFC. Um, you know, so I really ran over there and banged on the doors to, uh, you know, try and get more Australians into the, into the UFC. And I think uh, I've done a good job of that. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm extremely proud of my career.